green pepper farming is very profitable i call it the the cocoa of vegetables or the gold of vegetables <laughs> so if you want to go into a vegetable farming wow. for me our advice is start with it just that it is complex it is a complex plant to handle so you would have to learn learn about it visit farms so that you see the practical side of the yeah of whatever you are doing then you can kick start if you want to kick start to kick start small don't try to do it too big that you will not be able to handle yeah but if you have somebody that is already into it and the person who will guide you still start small because you've not used that land before it's a fresh land so please start small then you can scale up whilst you are going in this video i'm going to look at um green pepper farming in ghana if you are a beginner who want to venture into green pepper farming this video is um, to you for you to learn more about green pepper farming uh, for an initial conversation michael clearly stated that it gives you 70 percent return at least compared to tomatoes compared to cabbage or to other form of vegetables that you grow so yes this video is going to focus on to, uh, green pepper farming if this is the first time seeing me i'm charles and this channel we talk about farming and agriculture here in ghana so yes, before you get into the video, make sure you like this video for me. Like so you can promote it to other viewers. Subscribe to the channel so we all grow together. And share. The people out there who want to learn more about green pepper farming, learn more about agriculture, they don't even know what to invest their money into. You sharing this video to them, they'll get to know that okay, maybe green pepper farming is profitable and also how they need to go about it in terms of investments, farm management practices, and returns that they can make from green pepper farming here in Ghana. Alright, without much ado, let's get into the video. So yes, uh, Michael and Steven. Steven, green pepper farming. At least when I spoke with Michael, he clearly stated that yes, <laughs> it's one of the most profitable things that you can do in Ghana. Yeah. And even before he partnered with you, you're ready to green pepper farming. Yes. So yes, with you, you already had the vision of how <laughs> <laughs> So yes, um, I want to let my, let my viewers know for people out there watching us who want to venture into the business of farming green peppers. How do you go about it as a new beginner? Okay, thank you. Uh, green pepper, but as you know, by video we are doing irrigation. Yeah, okay. on the farm here. On the farm here. So, first you look for the seed and the variety of the seed that you want to do. Okay. Okay. Me, what I like to do is Simbad. Simbad, okay. From agri seed. Yeah. yeah, from agri seed. So, you buy the, after, having, after buying the seed, me, I like Simbad. So, after buying the Simbad, from agri seed then i do my my nasal bed okay i do my nasal bed if i've done the nasal bed today i water it and then uh, fumigate it then the following day then i started you i would you normally draw a line on the me yeah, i normally do it in line then uh, the, the, the seed the seed for the, okay, for the seed yeah i normally do uh, the seed normally be in line on the on the bed because I want to get at least 70 to 85 germination. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, wait. So after that, when I do it that way, mostly because there is no spray that normally pick. So after doing the bed, we use insecticide to spray it up and then take care of it, use palm front to cover it and the energy. The, the, the energy and water it and be watching it and be ap uh, applying the insecticide for them not to pick it because the seed is expensive so if you don't <laughs> take care of it and yeah, you allow yeah. it that you are watering it they pick it then you are doomed exactly so we, we, we just to cut you so for those watchers who don't know about the pricing of the seed how much does it cost uh, now now currently yes now currently it's now it's costing around 700 to 800 cities wow for, for, for 50 grams, grams. for 50, 50 grams, 50 grams. 700 to 800 cities uh -huh. so taking care of it maybe yes uh, five to six days then i take off what i used to cover the palm front and then i used to cover it then i have to make a shade mm -hmm. uh, on it and then from there you have to apply your your chemicals for them not to cut it because uh, uh those grass hopper and those do started cutting affect it and then cut it then as soon as they cut it now and then that's it you lost it so you have to the care have to be on it and up to the last day that you transplant 
Yeah. Uh, so before you, you got it, 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 it will be there for three to uh, four weeks. Okay. Three weeks to four weeks. Then when it's on the the share that I've done on it, it will be on it for three days. It will be on, it will be on it for three weeks. From three weeks, then I start removing it. If I put like five or six on it, and I have to remove two. That means I'm hiding it. Okay. Um, to the the fourth week, no, then I have to remove all the third the shade, on, the it. shade on it. So it have to be there like three or four days. Okay. And the water too, I won't give it to it. Like I'll be giving it to it maybe every day, every day. So I have to leave it there for it to be hard. Uh, you know, before you take it to the full, because the full is when that is going to feel the reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, for the next day, yeah, I mean, I'll be yeah, sitting there yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. So before you send it to the reality, so from there, okay. You we normally we normally do holes. We use the line and then make our holes down. That's on the main field, right? The main field. Okay, before we come to the main field, yeah. Let me let's go back to the masonry. Yeah. Okay. So you said you put you cover it with um palm front. Palm front. When you plant it. Yeah. When okay. you nest it. When you uh, when you nest it. Yeah. Then you take it off for some time. Yeah. In like the third week. The so not third. Uh, four to five days. Four to five. Oh, four to five days after planting. Yeah. After nesting it. After nesting it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then you said that you provide shade for it. Yeah. What form of shade are you talking about? What is shade are you talking about? Okay. You like the bed. You use a stick on side side okay so that means that you are going to use the palm from that you might use to cover it you are going to raise it up oh, make okay. a shade on it uh -huh. so it won't be on it on so first it won't be on the ground now it will be a little bit elevated, yeah, a little bit high, yeah, elevated. okay uh -huh. i get you yeah. i get you then during the measure point you do you apply any fertilizer any chemicals to make sure that it doesn't affect it at that point in time yeah at me i normally use a uh, uh, chicken uh, drop Okay. At times, scour them to when it's two weeks to three weeks. Then I spread into it. Okay. Uh, mostly that's what I use, but mostly I have people use fertilizer. Cool, but you can use it. It's not bad. Okay. Uh, so you use organic fertilizer. Yeah, I use organic yeah, from the okay. beginning. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Any pesticides are during that time too? Definitely. You okay. you have to treat uh, uh, insects, uh, fungi. You have to treat. What you are going to, after transplant, you have what you uh, uh, normally use on the food. You have to study from there, because if you left it on the bed and those fungi attack it over there, before you send it to the food, uh, yeah. you are doomed. Okay. So it have to be this is free on the next bed, bed. Okay. Before you transplant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got you. Yeah. I got you. So that one it takes approximately one month for you to do the transplant yes, right okay yeah. and you do have enough in the third four to yeah the third week to fourth week then you start doing your hardening okay yeah. okay so when it comes to give a pay which requires medicine just like the way tomatoes are required yes, yeah. Yes, yeah okay so now we've moved from the nursery stage yeah. i want to transplant what am i just supposed to do during the transplanting stage okay then the transplant you have to prepare their land very well okay and then you peg it and you because it to be it has to be in line okay so we normally take and then do our hole we normally do the holes down after the hole then we put the organic uh manure inside chicken drop and cow, uh, cow dam so if i get you guys you said pegging and the holes it means yeah. the way you plant this like a tomato you create holes yeah. on the like on the field in on rows. the field in rows okay for the for you to transplant the yeah, uh, seedlings onto them. Into, into them. Okay. okay. So after pegging the holes, after the holes, then we normally mix the cow damp and then the chicken drop into the hole and then we water it okay. for some days before we started the transplanting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Approximately how many days do you do that? Um, because when it's when if the thing uh, uh, on the measurement, the fourth week, the third week, then we started doing those preparation okay. before the fourth week. Then the fourth week, then you start. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's fine. Okay, so what, what else do you do during transplanting? Period? Yeah, then from there, as soon as you finish transplanting, then we normally use insecticide to spray because those uh, grasshoppers they'll, they'll be cutting it. So you normally spray it with insecticide and you water it too. Within the first few days of transplanting? That day, now, the, the same day. day. The same day, okay. The same day. Um, after using that uh, insecticide, First, we water after transplanting water before because we normally do it with transplant. We started it uh, three to maybe late evening, at times five to six that way. Okay. Uh, so, when we are done, we water it and then use the 
and say start to spray it. Nice, nice, uh, nice. Okay. So maybe the fourth day to the fifth day, then we normally do our water fed. Okay. Same to do the tomatoes, uh, half milk thing to 15 liters of water. Okay, yeah. And then, yeah. And then we normally used to drench it all. Okay. Then, so yeah. you do the drench now, you don't spray it on the chest. No, no. Definitely, we do the we do not do the drenching. Okay. Uh, so from there, when it's a week, then we apply a uh, fungicide. Nice. Uh, so that's when the, the treatment start and uh, started getting your fruit. Mm -hmm. And then the fertilizer application to do it a week, a week. So from that five days, when it's uh, seven days, then we increase the fertilizer to uh, the third week. Then the fourth week, then you know, it give the grandma. Then we yeah, stop then. it by there. Yeah. Then we start with the full fertilizer, and then the then we are managing the pets, and then yeah. Okay. Okay. So full fertilizer comes in at the latter part when it, like we need to fruit, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, it it can come in when we give. Uh, the the MPK okay. maybe we give the MPK, MPK today maybe fourth day we can you can decide to use the full fertilizer to spray uh, once in a while once in a while but as soon as you finish the MPK now that's when the full fertilizer have to start because right after that. yeah okay okay so Michael, that thing. That, you know, when it comes to green pepper they are the abyss of vegetables. Mm -hmm. of vegetables. Yeah, they are the abyss of yes. vegetables. Uh, what what would you like to add? So um I would like to talk about the, the fungicide side. Okay. See, that's why I said they are the abyss. If you don't apply the fungicide to them, even from the bed, from the nursery bed, okay, and you transplant, it the disease is already in Inside. the plants. That's why he said disease free. You don't want to you don't want to move anything, disease to the mm -hmm. food. So fungicide application over there is very important. Now, most most of the fungicide they they tell you when you apply today maybe wait till seven days then you reapply again. Okay. Green pepper perfect you can do it, but to us, for us, yeah. we don't follow that protocol because it has happened to us before. We lost yeah. everything. Going by the number of days, the number of the days they give on the on, on the we don't follow it. So we every five days we apply fungicide okay. instead of seven days. So we apply the fungicide every five days on the fruit. Green pepper is very very. It is not strong as compared to bakoshito okay. and the chili pepper. The chili pepper you can do the one week start for it that one it will be able to withstand it nice. but the green pepper so far from what i've seen when you want to follow the one week yes you may be successful but i decided that we should bring it to five days mm -hmm. that one it helped in a sense that every instead of we applying let's say twice a week we apply three times a week rather nice. so we've just substituted one day into it it will build it will build the cell system, the cell walls of the plant, so that it will be disease free. A lot of fungi, bacteria, insects, nematodes, the mat the the they affect green pepper. A lot. Uh, yes. Okay. Different, different forms of fungi. Like, <laughs> different, different. <laughs> different. The various so, families. Of yes. Them. So, we do. Uh, we do preventive you you just you just have to stick to the just apply 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 and make sure when it's getting to the fruiting stage mm -hmm. then you can now reduce the your chemical your, your chemical application okay. now you have gotten your fruit already now all that you have to be doing is to be taking care of the leaves so that you still be getting your fruit and you'll be getting it in a healthy form yeah so the the fertilizer application the application of calcium and and uh, potassium is very very important mm -hmm. when the fruiting starts so that you can prevent the end fruit rot disease that one too it yeah, affects affect yes it affects the green pepper too okay. so you have to prevent that one too and you get your green pepper very firm then these insects i don't know whether it is even insect or trips yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes they can suck <laughs> the juice out of your leaves <laughs> yes. the leaves, the leaves. The they leaves. will suck the juice out of your leaves and your 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 leaves will be deformed it will not be very well you know the leaves is the main uh, part where the sun uh, 
chopping is done exactly. so right to use to prepare the food for the, the whole food, the, 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 the whole food yeah cool. so when the leaves is not that much or it's not able to trap enough sunlight you are in trouble exactly. your plants will not be able to produce more True. so we take it, taking care of the leaves without trips hmm. is very very important luckily we've been able to get this uh, chemical from rainbow Okay. I think it's Spartan 300. Spartan 300, yeah. D. Yeah. This chemical, they are dangerous. They are dangerous. Yeah, Spartans. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Spartans, you know, yeah, they are yeah, dangerous guys. It's, it's effective. So a friend used it and he recommended it. Okay. And we also tried it and it's very good. Yeah, it yeah. kills the trips. Like you see that it is dead. Just that you see trips. It has a very short, short life cycle. Okay. So before you are even killing it, uh, it has even laid another yeah, egg, egg. Ah, and it's waiting yeah. for you to <laughs> hatch. Ah, uh, so that one to every seven days you apply wow. just to eradicate yeah. them uh, completely so green pepper production is similar to tomatoes mm -hmm. just that for green pepper extra care has it's to be taken care of it yeah, yeah. your fungicide application is very important some strange names of diseases hand track they are first green pepper yeah, you do it here yeah. so within a day some a week now you can see all the farm is gone Hey. Yes, yes. We said that I'll be plant. So, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. that, that, yes. so the production is 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 what he mainly spoke about. I just added the the fungicides. Very very important. Thank you. you need to be able to apply your fungicides on time. Sure. Yes, and normally the application to is is to be done late in the evening, uh, in the afternoon. Okay, so after like four, five. four or five that way, okay. you do your application. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do it in the morning. Even in the morning, early in the morning, mm -hmm. when um, the dew is dropping, then you can do it. But after eight o'clock that way, when the sun has started coming up, it's, it's, not, advisable. it's not advisable. Yeah. It's not, I think it's the most chemical application normally do it like during that time. Too, uh -huh. and I know yes, it, yeah, it will things. affect your your crop. So that is about the green pepper. Okay. When it comes to harvesting. Harvesting green pepper is very, very well. Let me say, when you're harvesting, you, you have some joy. Yeah, the <laughs> There's no time there, so you can <laughs> harvest when you don't get tired. Oh, okay, you know, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You have money, the the county of blessings. <laughs> county of blessings, yes. So, okay. the, the one we did and were successful was last two years, uh, two years, I guess. I guess, I guess, inside. Okay. Then from there, issues upon issues oh. i tell you my brother issues upon issues so yes we've gotten the trick and it's very simple mm -hmm. your nutrition should be on point okay. your uh, uh, fungi fungi treatment should be on point okay. nematode all of those things should be on point then you'll be successful yes. you'll be yes. successful in that same land on the green pepper uh, today when is when is there you want to, want to do it again, it again. No, no 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 we've explained to we lost big so at least competition so, yes, very it's very important, important. Yeah. Yeah. see you see those things we were taught in class they told us you take over that good like competition yeah so oh, yeah. this is why we are on the food we like, just have a small <laughs> land so let's oh, be doing yeah. it it will uh, it. worry you it will okay. be still to worry so today you do green pepper no you change to like cabbage Ca change to cabbage yeah, then maybe you can even put yeah. in one uh nitrogenous plant let's say beans beans or granite yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. leave the land to regain yeah. its form yeah. you can even plant the granite then within let's say five six weeks yeah. when it starts growing then you just apply everything okay. you do green manuring yeah. nice. then you just leave it then now you cannot come and do your pepper. your pepper nice. or your nice. vegetable nice. you you get a lot of yolks you get a lot of uh, i like that <laughs> the higher the higher the risk the higher the return yes that is the thing. <laughs> when it comes to green pepper, you know that the risk is high. It's very risky. Mm -hmm. You can only lose them. Yes, yes. And, also and when, when, it's, when it's set for you, hmm. oh, you are happy. Nice. Yes. At least, as I, as I even said, it means that the green pepper farming is profitable. It is very, 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 yes, very, very, very profitable. Yes, very, as compared very, to the very. other from other other vegetables, vegetables yes. Okay. So the selling and the, how 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 is it sold? How is the pricing also done? Yeah. So the selling. Normally we do in sack. Okay. So, so far, sack. Is so far I've seen in, in sack. They do the number five. We have the different different numbers. Yes, big, and they still put a hood. 
Hmm. On, on top, it, yes, seen, yes, you still see a wood on top, so <laughs> just to get plenty. I'm mean, asking myself, why can't we just do the number yeah. five and just Tied see up, with yeah. the hassle? Why must we add a wood? You see, all these things are you are stressing the fruit itself. You are stressing you don't want it. to get more ingredients, also. Oh, no, so maybe if that, that with the hood is thousand cities, without the hood could be 800 or okay, 900 or something, yes, so that we don't struggle punish the the fruit inside so by the time it even gets to the seller or the the market it has started spoiling in the yeah, in the sack yeah. because the yeah, handling the yes the it's... handling is just bizarre true, 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 true. so something has to be done about that one too so that we change the system of packaging our, our mm-hmm. fruit mm-hmm. vegetables when you look elsewhere they do it in crates yeah once the crate is that, full yeah, that's, that's all yeah, yeah so just that the crates cannot take much yeah. so you need like 100 crates to be able to do with uh what the sack can do yes handle. so those are some of them. then the last time the sack was around um 800 to 1300 wow yes the sack with the hood number five number five with number the five. hood 800 to 1300 it can even rise to two thousand dollar cities. Ah, for yeah. that one sack. Yes, yes, for that one sack. It's, it can it's even vegetable rise. cocoa. So, <laughs> it's vegetable cocoa. <laughs> yes, it can even rise to two thousand Ghana cities okay. for the sack. And it can also come down when it comes down to the yeah, lowest the level, maybe seven hundred will be the list. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> so this sack, this basket can go like seven, seven times. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Wow, we can go like seven times. Just that one plant of green pepper can give you a lot of fruit. Okay, and the distance to the planting distance is not that long, so you can plant a lot of them. Yeah, I don't forget. So, what the planting distance that we, we do uh, 40 by 40 sometimes, sometimes we do 50 by 50. Okay, so Interval. 50 intervals, 50 uh, centimeters intervals. Okay, yeah, okay, but when my boss said. We should reduce the interval because we want to plant more. more. <laughs> well, then we'll come to 40. <laughs> we'll come to 40. But sometimes to you see, when you reduce the distance, you will get more plants. Yeah. But disease transmission will be easier. Will be easier. Yeah. So you have to watch the dynamics. Exactly. Or else you do it, you get more plants. When you want to transmit the disease, everything yeah, is gone. Ah. Yeah. So seven hundred at least for the minimum. For for the minimum, a sack seven hundred cities. And it's not that much common too. It's not that common like it's not that much common like okay. maybe you are you are doing good for family and then maybe you say oh maybe next month if we go to seven hundred cities the first week second week it will be like that. It's not stable. It will. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And what the season to best grow like green pepper? Ha! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you want to be in the season, you have to do your nursery. First, you can start uh, early, uh, late February. Okay. And transplant late uh, March. March. Okay. You can do it late March, transplant late April. You can do it late April and transplant uh, uh, late May. May. Yeah. That's good. You are good to go. Okay. Uh-huh. See, currently, this this is the time um our neighbors Burkina, Burkina. they bring their green, green pepper, pepper. Yeah. and once they have a successful harvest and they bring it then the price begins to reduce yeah, exactly now it will come down supplying the yes system. but getting to the mid of the year this now gets finished then maybe mm-hmm. you, yours is now in season so yeah okay. but still when you want to when you want to go into it because Burkina can still be around when you do green pepper, you yes, still make you still make some profit. Mm-hmm. You still make and some profit. Seventy percent. You you get. You know the the sometimes it depends on the quality of the fruit the you fruit have. Too, yeah. So mm-hmm. you can do uh what's the other name? Uh, Simba the y- yellow wonder. Yellow wonder. Yellow wonder. Okay, yes. that's a variety of the yeah, another variety. Right. Of the then Nikita too is there. Nikita too is there. <laughs> Nikita. <So>, uh, <laughs> Okay. Nikita is there, so you can do the three. When you come to my home, I tell you it is simple that I have. Oh, the city is expensive. So while somebody is selling Yellow Wonder for, let's say, a basket for 
three hundred. My, I, you don't expect me to sell a basket because when we take it to the market, now we have a longer shelf period. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes it depends on you, the one doing it and the one buying it. Nice. Yes. Nice. Nice. And nice. what you have on the farm. Yes. I mean, you're getting a jacket great all year round and still make good. And still make money yeah. all year round. Even regardless of the Burkina one being in the system. No, no, no. Yeah. You can still make money. That that was what we wanted to do last year. Yeah. And yeah. it affected us nah, because okay. that so same land we are repeating. Yeah, repeat uh, repeat uh, so if we had if we had um shed divided the land into let's say two, do cabbage here, then do bean pepper here. Yeah, After doing them, you just swap. It would have helped. I get you. Yes. So but we this learn our big lesson. <laughs> we will repeat that again. Yes, yeah, if you realize we started with the cabbage. Uh, yeah. We will do green pepper there when the cabbage is done. Yeah. We will do cabbage yeah. here. We will do green pepper. So when we are done with the green pepper, we move back to cabbage. Then we will now come and feast uh, uh, either beans or granules yeah. into the ending so part of the year. To yes. To the ending part of the year. Then we we'll see what to do. Okay. Okay. And that if I want to start my own um, green pepper farm on an acre, on an acre, depending on where your water source is, okay. like ours, like this, we are starting everything fresh. Okay. At least put down, put down some uh, seventeen to twenty thousand. Put down. Yeah. Yeah. So, but our advice: you don't want to do an acre. From the beginning, yeah, yes, do half an acre. Half an acre is like two plots, 100 by 100. Two plots, do that one and manage. You can fix all the pipes and everything, yeah. but on the land, Definitely. just do something yes. small. Yeah. You get to learn mostly, you learn about the thing, but what happens on the food is different, yeah, yes. What happens on the That's food, is different. Yes, 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 yes. Someone might not be facing issues with. Uh, early blight mm. but that's like a sickness or something yes yeah. to the, yes some might not be facing a sickness with uh nematodes yeah but you will face it you, you don't know so you have to study the land from the beginning know what is there and what is not there and even it is advisable to test your land before you yeah. okay. before you do um whatever you want to do you test your land it will give you the nutrients capacity the nutrients composition of the, the land soil. the soil then you can start if nitrogen is less if potassium is less all those things when you test it the the machine will give you what you need to increase and all that okay so as a beginner please study your land test your land start small and learn visit farms as usual learn then you are free to go we are good nice, to go nice. and the soil that is best for vegetable farming is lomi soil lomi soil lomi soil is best the best, the best. if you are if you have Lube. if you have semi if you have sandy then you have to add a lot of manure Manu. okay to make it compact to make yeah. it compact yes make it um, add a lot of manure manure you can mix the cow down yeah, and yeah, the chicken drop chicken dropping mix all of them oh, a big drop. Drop. Okay. Okay. big drop in here Nice, nice. Any, any, any other message? Any, any final ways when it comes to green pepper farming? Green pepper farming is very profitable. I call it the the cocoa of vegetables or the gold of vegetables. <laughs> so, if you want to go into a vegetable farming, wow. for me, our advice is start with it. Just that it is complex. It is a complex plant to handle. So, you would have to learn learn about it visit farms so that you see the practical side of the yeah of whatever you are doing then you can kick start if you want to kick start to kick start small don't try to do it too big that you will not be able to handle yeah but if you have somebody that is already into it and the person who will guide you still start small because you've not used that land before it's a fresh land so please start small then you can scale up whilst you are going that is the the message i have about green pepper In the final yeah thank you please mine is the government the youth are ready to farm we are ready we are ready to farm but <laughs> The support, is not the support there. is not there. They should help us. Mm. I think they should set a fund for us. If a youth that is ready to farm, they should monitor that youth. Have this money. Let the two, they are in the assembly, they are working. They should let them monitor us and see what we are doing. 
<laughs> and they return. We return it. It's better than we young ones. We have to go and borrow money. Money that maybe a, a month you are going to pay interest. Okay. What is supposed not to be like that? At least we, are, we, we can have money three months, four months. Then what we gain out of it, then we pay. But I've taken as many 10,000 from someone. Then I have to go and borrow another money from somewhere, paying the interest. Yeah. Where am I going? Oh. So they should help us. And kudos to a great director, Akachi. Yes, the money yes, is very good yes, for yes, us. Yes, oh, nice. Yes. yes. He very comes around and helps you guys wow. The director will go there alone and come to this farm. Come and see what is, come going, and see on what is going on. He is doing very, very He's well. He's doing very, very well. well. Yeah. I read director. Yeah. Akachi. Akachi. Akachi yeah. district. Yeah. He's doing very well. Very, very well. We thank him so much. Big shout outs to him. Yes, yes. We thank him so much. Nice, nice. And a quick one I want to say. Uh, this one is just for to tease uh, our minds. Uh, last last year, December, you we were um, awarded uh, yeah, the family best best youth, youth farm in a, in yes, a Greek. Yes, best youth farmers in oh, a Greek. Yes, for the district. For the district. For the district. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, nice. Long that long that long 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 one was just a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, yeah, nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice. So, so that one was just like some few weeks ago. Some few, yeah, yeah, yeah. December, the year of December, ended. right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, oh, so, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So those that are motivating us, you can do it. Mr. Bright, the one that is selling the uh, uh, the seed for the agri seed. Who? Mr. Bright, Mr. Lai. Uh, Mr. Jokoto, tell me, and uh, Joshua from uh, Migdadi, kudos to them. As soon as you call them, we are facing some little challenges, you call them. They come and help. They will, they will call it, at times when they come to the food, um, especially a bride will come to the food and come and have a look and um, then chat Joshua to them. Too, yeah. Yeah. Joshua too. Uh, so uh, kudos yeah. to them. And biggest to Denmark. Denmark Agro, big ass to him too. Yeah, he yeah. Also support him. He supports. He gives mm -hmm. us chemicals, chemicals. To, uh, sort him out. <laughs> sort him out. Denmark, thank Denmark. you. I for them. Okay. So big yeah. shout out to everyone who's ensuring that this farmers are having it easy to some extent to farm. Yeah. And to supporting their work and giving them more encouragement to what they are doing. Yeah, big shout out to you. I believe this will end the uh, session on the green pepper farming. Um, if there's any question you wanted to ask that we'll be holding talked about, you can put in the comment section. We'll be there to answer them. Yeah. And just let me know, also drag them to come and at least kind of provide the guys with answers to yeah. the questions you have. Yeah, sure. So sure. yes, even if you don't answer the question, you can put it in the comment section so we can um, deal with that as well. So yeah, subscribe to the channel so we all go together. As I said, by the end of this year, 100,000 subscribers before the year ends. Subscribe, subscribe, like subscribe. <laughs> Right, so you to promote it to other viewers. The more you like, the more it, the videos are recommended for other people for them to so you get to watch the video as well. So and share. There will be friends out there, colleagues out there who want to venture into farming. We need some of this information to be start to start your own farm and also venture into it as well. So share to other people to get to watch uh, this video as well. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Because you come and invest, come and invest, come and invest. <laughs>